In this video, I'm going to be discussing some of the things that are going on within the retro gaming community behind the scenes. Uh, some of you may not be familiar with this, but I am, and I'll be keeping a close eye on it. I want to give my opinion. So this is the first video from Harrison Hacks that may contain coarse language. So if you have kids watching this, don't let them watch this because I'm going to be speaking off the top of my head, and I'm rather upset about it. So just stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be discussing some bullying going on within the retro gaming community. Can't believe this shit's happening. I, I'm just sick and tired of it. So we have the Mod My Classic team and they think that you know, they can say and do whatever they want. They're trolling people on Discord and things of that nature, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. You know, maybe you enjoy Project Lunar or Bleem Sync or whatever the fuck they're calling it now. They have a new name for it. And it, to me, it just feels like, what are you, rebranding yourself because you, you've been picking on others in the background? Um, if you follow Discord of KMFD Manic or Pat and Plays, and I do want to mention they have no idea that I'm making this video. They have nothing to do with the fact that I'm making this video. I'm making this because of the shit that I've seen online, and I'm getting sick and tired of it, and this is my opinion on the situation. When you come down to HackG or fucking Project Lunar or BleemSync or AutoBleem or RetroBoot or whatever you want to do. It's your choice. And the thing with this issue to me is why are these people getting so frustrated and trying to troll others and make funning make funning. That's such a stupid thing to say. <laughs> Making fun of others. The the way that they speak or what they do. Do you know what? Do you know how hard it is? To make things for the retro gaming community. It is not simplistic. It's not something you do overnight. It's something that takes hours out of your life. To do for others. And we do it for free. And this is what pisses me off. Is the fact that you have these guys. That are trolling others. Because they're quote unquote. Competition. There is no competition. There's alternatives. You can use Project Lunar. For your Sega Genesis Mini. Or you can use HackG 2CE for your Sega Genesis Mini. You can use BleemSync for your PlayStation Classic. Or you can use AutoBleem for your PlayStation Classic. You can also do a direct install of RetroBoot for your PlayStation Classic. And, and the things that this is what gets to me is like, why are we dealing with this shit? I just don't get it. I'm a big fan of what KMFD Manic, Kylan K, whichever you want to call him, what he does for the community. Man, this guy has passion. And every video that I've ever watched from him, which I watch almost all of his videos, he has been nothing but just passionate towards everyone. He wants all of us to enjoy. He works hard behind the scenes, he busts his ass, and now we've got these people that are trying to stop him. Why would you want to stop him? Why would you want to make fun of the fact that, you know, okay, you know what, I get it. Like, he's, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a certain channel. He, he's a niche channel. So am I. And I, I don't understand that. We're all a niche channel. We are a retro gaming channel. And we are trying to do things to help the community so that you guys can enjoy it. What do we do it for? Nothing. We do it for free. Do we get ad revenue from YouTube? Yes. Okay. But it's peanuts. I mean, it's really peanuts in, in, in the whole scheme of things. I can't believe that these guys are trying to pick on Kyle and Kay. And I can't wait for Pat and Play's second video because I want him to call people out. And I can't believe the fact that I'm doing it right now. I don't do these kind of videos. This is not normal for my channel. But it, I've said it so many times already, but it just pisses me off. What the fuck is wrong with these guys? 
Listen, you don't need to be competition. You don't. You can just sit down, look at it, and be like, oh, well, there's a nice alternative to our program. There's a nice alternative to Project Lunar. There's a nice alternative to Bleem Sync. Yeah, Auto Bleem is cool. Damn right it is. Oh, look at that. Hatchy's pretty awesome. Damn right it is. And these are the things that piss me off because Colin K, what he does, KMFD Manic, I'm sorry if I'm using the wrong name, but what he does is phenomenal. And and it's just so well-deserved, the, the respect that he gets and the gratitude that he gets. It's so well-deserved. I cannot believe that there's people out there trying to bash what he does. This guy took my mini consoles, and as well as many of our consoles, and made them better. He puts the time in to be like, oh, this game isn't working, these games aren't working, I'm going to adjust that core, and I'm going to make it work better. And these are the things that matter in the retro gaming community, because we all want things to play perfectly. Can we get perfect? No. But someone like Kylan K is trying to help us get as close as we possibly can. And these are the things that just get to me. I don't understand why, why anyone would want to mess around with anyone else. It's, it, it's something that just, I, I just don't get it. The bullying and things like that, I just don't understand it. I, I can't, I can't get it. As a youth, I stood up for for everyone that got bullied. It, it, not everyone, but like anyone in school. And I was the tough guy in school, believe it or not. Now that I make retro gaming stuff, I was actually a tough guy. But the thing to me is like, man, when someone's bullying someone and I see this shit, I am going to take you down. I'm going to go as hard as I can at you. And I can't believe that Mod My Classic or whomever is on their list of people who are incorporated within Mod My Classic, and maybe I'm not wording it right, and I don't really fucking care. I'm just pissed off and venting myself here because I cannot stand this shit. But if you're in Mod My Classic team and you are part of the bullying, or you think it's funny, anything like that, it's not. It's it's really really not. You have the issue here where you're looking at someone who is nothing but dedicated to helping us retro gamers get our shit playing on consoles, whether it be the NES Classic, the SNES Classic, the Sega Genesis Mini, the PlayStation Classic, all of the above, and I'm sure future consoles to come. You have someone like KMFD Manic who is out there putting his heart and soul into this shit, and you're going to go ahead and chirp him because you've got a different idea? No, no, no. Fuck that. You think that you're better than him? You are not. I think, in my opinion, from what I've seen from you and what I've seen from him and all the other people that support you and support him, he wins. And it's not even a competition. He doesn't want to win. He doesn't want us doing videos like this where we lash out at these fucking bullies. But you know what? I'm sorry, KMFD Manic. I'm sorry, Kylan K., I, you know, it's just something that I had to do, and I had to make this video. I'm sick and tired of watching these guys and listening and reading and hearing about all this other shit that's going on in the retro gaming community. This is a positive situation, or at least it should be. There's no need for any of us to have to battle anyone else. We can work together, or we can be alternatives, but we do not need to bash the quote-unquote competition. There's no competition. You either like Bleem Sync or you like Auto Bleem. You like Project Lunar or you like the new Hackchi CE. It's your choice. But there's no need to knock anyone about it. I'm just, I'm just fed up with it. I can't believe I made this video because I haven't sworn on my channel in nearly three years I've been around... Uh, which is not long, but I mean, shit, I have not sworn on a video yet. 
So that's going to do it for me, guys. I really appreciate you watching. And I hope that this bullying shit stops. But most importantly, let's get along and have a good day.